life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How it all began nearly 4,000 years ago, in the Sumerian town of Ur in the valley of the river Euphrates, lived a young man named Abraham. The people of Ur had once worshipped Allah but as time passed they forgot the true religion and started praying to idols, statues made of wood or clay and sometimes even of precious stones. Even as a small child Abraham could not understand how his people, and especially his father, could make these images with their own hands, call them gods, and then worship them. He had always refused to join his people when they paid respect to these statues. Instead he would leave the town and sit alone, thinking about the heavens and the world about him. He was sure his people were doing wrong and so alone he searched for the right way. One clear night as he sat staring at the sky he saw a beautiful shining star, so beautiful that he cried out, this must be Allah. He looked at it in awe for some time, until suddenly it began to fade and then it disappeared. He turned away in disappointment saying, I love not things that set. On another night Abraham was again looking at the sky and he saw the rising moon, so big and bright that he felt he could almost touch it. He thought to himself, this is my Lord. But it was not long before the moon set as well. Then he said, unless my Lord guide me, I surely shall become one of the folk who are astray. Abraham then saw the beauty and splendor of the sunrise and decided that the sun must be the biggest and most powerful thing in the universe. But for the third time he was wrong, for the sun set at the end of the day. It was then that he realized that Allah is the most powerful, the creator of the stars, the moon, the sun, the earth and of all living things. Suddenly he felt himself totally at peace, because he knew that he had found the truth. When he said unto his father and his folk, What do you worship? They said, We worship idols, and are ever devoted to them. He said, Do they hear you when you cry? Or do they benefit or harm you? They said, Nay, but we found our fathers acting in this manner. He said, See now that which you worship, you and your forefathers. Lo, they are, all, an enemy to me, except the Lord of the worlds, who created me, and he guides me, and who feeds me and waters me. And when I sicken, then he heals me. And who causes me to die, then gives me lift, again, and who, I ardently hope, will forgive me my sin on the day of judgment. Life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How it all began nearly 4,000 years Dear group members, remember to become a member of my channel. Thank you for your attention. Next, see you again.